Hey everybody, and welcome to part 8 of Spyro, Year of the Dragon. So, we are going to go find another level to do. So how's about we do Spooky Swamp? I'm not really fond of this level, but eh, it's, it's a decent level. At least for the spy or Spyro part. And yes, Moneybags does make his triumphant return here. It's a dark, mysterious world filled with fireflies and piranhas. I believe there's a skill point for destroying the uh, piranha signs, though. Or is there a skill point for flying to Piranha Island over here? Not really sure. But anyways, let's check out our totals. We need uh, six eggs, find Shiny the Firefly, and 500 gems. So pretty much the same as birds, except we gain three more eggs to get. Because there's only three in the buddy worlds. Hey, sir. So our mission is actually to light the lanterns. I don't think they actually say that, but we have to. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you gonna... You have a slingshot, and that is one nasty mosquito. He gets to be on the freaking thumbnail for this video. Oh, no. We're dead. Or, apparently not. No! Homer, don't talk to me. You guys talk in haiku. It's not haiku hilarious, okay? It's, it's kind of bad. But I do like the music here, like the whole... Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's a very mellow soundtrack, but I find the levels in this game are a lot shorter than future or other Spyro games. But they're... Whoa, he didn't actually hurt me. He pushed me out. There's more to do in them, though, because they added in the buddies and stuff, you know? All the guys who help you out. If you can pick gems up farther away, Spyro, how come you're... Or Sparks, you're having an issue. I can pick them up from farther away. Oh, but wait, I'm also still useless. Really? And that sounded like an enemy from Spiral 1. I believe the dog slash turtles? Maybe even the uh, evil Cupid devils? Dude, why are you smacking the little crocodile guy? You're, you're, you're mean. No wonder you guys are bad guys. You just start smack smacking the asses of your fellow comrades. No one likes that. Well, maybe unless you're playing football. Then maybe you guys like it. Man. No one is as bad as Tom Brady right now. No one likes Tom Brady anymore. No one even likes the New England Patriots right now because they're tired of seeing them win. Like, except for the fans, you know. The fans are like, yeah, they keep winning, man. Which, I don't blame them. Like, I like the Calgary Stampeders for CFL. I like the Denver Broncos and Miami Dolphins for NFL, but... It, it would get annoying if th those teams kept winning and you're not they're not your favorite, you know? If they're your favorite, then sure. I don't know. I, I, I can see why people get pissy. But not much you can say. Just all skill, eh, Michael Jackson? Ugh. Didn't look anything like him. Except for maybe the fact that he was brown. But Michael Jackson turned white, so... Nope, you, you don't work. I thought I seen something there. I think it was a piranha just clipping through the, uh, the ground there. These old games have a lot of graphical issues like that and stuff, but good nonetheless. Did I seriously miss one back there? I think I missed one back there. I think I missed that one. Because that's the final one, right? Did I miss that one back there? No, I didn't. I had to take that one. So no, I didn't miss anything. I'm just losing it. I don't know, I thought it should be glowing blue from far away. Maybe not. Oh, I guess you can only kill him from there. You can kill him from further away. Give me all this money. These little guys have a role coming up later. This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. It's funny, because I believe in Enter the Dragonfly... He actually brings up the haiku thing. 500 gems! I'm literally gonna make no money from this level. You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a. Eh, I don't care, man. Just open the damn door. Now, there are goodies up there that we have to get. Nope, I did miss one back there. I have to go back. Hey, at least... Actually, you know what? I'll go back... Uh, in a different way, because I actually have to 
grab the key and stuff, so we'll do that. Actually, no, the, 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 those, that's actually not worth an egg. It's to unlock an egg. You are brave, dragon. Much braver than I by far. Here, take this darn egg. <laughs> Here, take this darn egg. Guess he didn't want the egg. Thelonious Viper? Really? Why the hell... Wait, why is Thelo Thelonious... Oh my god, it's tongue-tied now. Thelonious a female. It's a male name. It's, what the hell was that? It just launched into the air. Now, to actually open up that area where that dragonfly is standing, that's what letting all these lanterns are for. And we actually have to go back and get one. But, there's a key and egg back here. Then that's literally one of the last things Spyro can really do other than... Like a mini boss fight. Yes, a mini boss fight. Kind of similar to the Yak in Spyro 2, but way earlier in the game. Frank, do you have any beans? I don't think he had any beans. I'm sad. I wanted beans. So now that, we can now go back over here and open up the chest. As well as unlock the last lantern. Oh, wait, unlock the last lantern? I mean... Flame the last lantern, light the last lantern up. See, they do glow from far away, I believe, right? Yeah, they do, so I did do them wrong. Can't believe I missed that. Oh man, spew gems are really far. Don't know why Sparks is having such an issue picking stuff up, though. I thought we got the increased distance thing. I don't know, increased range? Oh, I think I did flame it, but it just missed. Oh, and I believe that island that at the beginning is actually a whirlwind that opens up after you, you know, beat the level. Because they always make little shortcuts. I believe, though, this is technically one of the shortest levels in this entire world. We might be able to get another world done in this episode, I'm not 100% sure. But we can try. We can try if you want to. We can leave your friends. I don't know. Let's go in here. Now, what we have to do for this guy... It's, this is one of the save options. Remember seeing him on the uh, save files? I believe we actually have to headbutt these, right? Yeah, see, it's just like the Yak, except stationary, and he, I believe, summons alligator minions. Also, he has piranha water. Dude, that's so cool. You have piranha water. I want piranha water. He only takes four hits, though. And his faces are always the exact same. See, nothing special. He's like half asleep though, he's like the dream wizard. Get him while he's yawning, get the bomb right in his yap. That really, these sound effects really sound like Spiral 1. This game really used a lot of Spiral 1 sound effects. And Spiral 2. Not a lot of unique ones. Ah, you died! Give me your egg, hurry, fully loaded. And then you, I believe, just get sucked out. Yeah, you actually don't have an option to just run around in there. Sad, I wanted to explore it. Anyways, all that's left is Sheila's, and she is an annoying part. Like, her part is absolutely annoying. This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. You're off to kick butt. Sure. See what I mean? The soundtrack's back. Oh, well, except for when you go there. Flame, right? It's like, yay, this boring soundtrack is back. You thought you got away from it for once? Nope. Guess what? She was back with the annoyingness. The annoyingness that is this soundtrack. I gotta figure out what the song's name is so we can never listen to it again. Or I can just play it in every update video. And I'll actually have an update video soon. Once these Let's Plays are closer to being finished. I'll do an update video on like, what the future projects will be after it. And so on and so forth. That way you guys can stay in the know-how with me. I think that's a good idea, am I right, guys? Boom! This is all my money. Pretty sure there's a secret up here. Yep. A $10 gem. Anything else? Nope. Not in here, at least. Now, these rocks actually respawn, and the mushrooms pop back up. And that's actually for the actual mission here that we have to do. Ooh. Oh, we can go up there, too. Let's go up there first. Oh, a lot of green gems. I swear she gets a majority of the gems in this level. Like, there's a lot here. 
This music honestly does not fit every area she was in. I feel it's just kind of out of place in a swamp. Just like it was out of place in Sunny Villa. Like, it fit her level with the Alps and such, but that's about it. I believe we should have 75 once we're done this part. Should be at 75. I'm just looking around for everything. Boom. Oh, more tens. I think we're missing a two. No, nope, never mind. And it should be all the gems. Yep, perfect. And now we gotta do the most annoying part of this level. And that is dealing with these fireflies back here, and we have to clear out a path for them to get the bombs to the chests to get or the cages to get the eggs. We have the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage, but we just go boom. Alright. No, I don't want to hear your damn haikus. Actually, I believe this guy sticks to the road. Yeah, this guy's the one who sticks to the road, the other one is a little more crazy. And don't destroy things too far ahead of time because they will come back. Just like these will pop up, and then they will kill the poor little dude. Well, they won't kill him. Let's make him go boom. He made a boom boom. Does he take that one? He does take that one. Perfect. Whoa. Boom! I guess it's not gonna spawn on him or anything random like that. Does he actually go around? No, this. Yes. Yes, this guy does go around. Yeah, see? It's weird ass shit like that, and I don't know why they do it. They're just really weird that way. Also, this is a very short pathway if you actually follow it correctly. Oh, that was weird. I made a weird sound effect. But please free the egg. Sha! Yeah. Yes! It was Peggy from Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia. Ugh, <laughs> ugly. One Yes, I will help your brother. Boozin. Boozin. Actually, I don't know what way you take. I actually don't go for that one. Okay. Now, he's a little more sporadic. I'm assuming he's the more blind of the two brothers. Blind is bad. Really should record some more Sly one of these days. I'll do that um, sometime soon, I guess. Probably tomorrow, like the day after you guys see this uploaded. It's technically the day that I'm... God damn it. He blew himself up. I don't think we're going to get anything else done in this episode, because the levels are getting longer. And even then, like, there are the only two other levels we can get 100% on are pretty lengthy. Like, I mean, when I mean lengthy, I mean they're damn near more lengthy than what we've dealt with. At least one of them is. And plus, one of the one of the levels that we can go to Kenny doesn't even get us 100%. Did I do it again? I did it again! Oh my god. I gotta remember, he goes to the one that's off track. Dude, you broke your haiku by going, ow. Yeah. Yeah, kangaroo kick. Kangaroo kick. <laughs> Doesn't really run into a lot of mushrooms, does he? He avoids a lot of them. He does go for this one, though. That was, seriously? That mushroom was, uh... Stuck up there for a while. Seriously, are you going? He's going all the way around. He went all the way around. Uh oh. Oh god, that was close. Good thing he doesn't take like the big ones. Like the ones that take two pounds? That would be too difficult. But there we go, we got Michelle Obama. Eh, at least it was a normal looking one. And there we go. This level is now 100% done. We can now leave. So, let's leave. Exit level. Oh, a hunter's tussle. Let's see what's going on in here. Do, 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 do. I like the music. 
Fahren, fahren. <laughs> That's kind of funny, Hunter. We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. Problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. Would you like me to show you? Cloud of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? Ha! Huh, I'll deal with you later. Hey, why'd you have to scare her off? Hunter was finally brave. But anyways, that does it for this episode, and in the next episode, we will be going to Icy Peak to go see Bob and Doug, and their sister, I can never remember their name. But, here we go. See you guys later.